I, I, as I said earlier, I assume my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi right now if you want. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, hello Modi. so that's that's just that's 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 a battle I've given up. Uh, they're probably listening into this and saying, "Okay, what is he saying out there?" Um, but on a more serious note, I think these are actually very important things, and I think you need to establish rules with regards to. Uh, privacy of citizens, privacy of data, uh, you know, and, and protection of data of our people as, as a nation and as individuals. Thank you, Sanjay. A has the potential to disrupt employment patterns. How do you ensure that A doesn't leave behind those who might lose their jobs due to automation? Frankly, I am not one of those people who believes that AI is going to massively decrease jobs. I don't buy that argument. Okay. Right? I think that some jobs will be lost and many more jobs will be created, right? And I think we've seen this before. I was reading, actually, uh, some accounts of when the steam engine, which you mentioned, uh, was invented. People were saying it's going to destroy all jobs. You know, the petrol engine was seen as something that would destroy all jobs. Computers were seen as something that will destroy all jobs. So we've seen this before. And none of these technologies have actually destroyed jobs. I think they have reallocated jobs. They have uh, redistributed them, but I don't think I don't think we need to be worried about massive job losses. I might be wrong, but that's how I think sure. about it. What do you think, Saeed, on this uh, aspect? Uh, as a Silicon Valley mover and shaker, funding start A startups every day, every other day. You know, I, I believe I agree with the, the comments said, but uh, I don't think this AI is as new as everybody says. Like someone said on the panel, the chatbot has been here for 30 years. I think this is a little smarter uh, chatbot. And I think it will improve productivity. I think it will improve, uh, like let's say if you have a team of 10 people to do a startup, you could accomplish more with the 10 people. The realm of A ethics, how do you balance the need for innovation with the responsibility to prevent biases and discrimination. What do you think, Rahul? Human beings don't have a very good record <laughs> of being ethical. I mean, World War II, World War One. these are not, you know, human beings are not that ethical. Um, but I think these are things that, you know, as Sam said earlier, that we need to sit down, uh, not just as individuals or nation states, but as the planet as a whole and discuss these things. And, and try and understand the possible repercussions. I mean, these type of technologies have existed before. There is a precedent. It's not, AI is not, you know, the first time a, a technology is dangerous. Nuclear weapons, for example, are, uh, are an example that were very dangerous and were sort of managed reasonably effectively. So I'm sure uh, that these questions can be tackled. I think we should, we should be optimistic about things like AI and also what, what you mentioned, um, we should be realistic. I mean, I'm not, I'm also not entirely convinced that, you know, it's going to transform the world completely and everything's going to go upside down. So I think there's a little bit of balance that is required in when you look at these things. Education plays a wider ro role in the A literacy. So how do you think uh, we can integrate A education as part of the Indian curriculum? Uh, maybe uh, if you become the Prime Minister of India in 2024, what skills you think India should prioritize for future generations? I mean, for me, you know, I, I'm sitting here today and a lot of my time is spent back home in uh, the rural environment. So it's a, it's, a, it's a cultural sort of huge transition, you know, seeing, uh, having this type of discussion and then seeing the reality of the Indian education system and our school system and stuff like that. I think on the higher education side, you know, on the engineering side, uh, and the technical side, our education system is reasonable. It's good. Uh, and it's competitive with any other, uh, you know, top economy of the world. I think where a lot of work needs to be done is the sort of primary education, the secondary education, uh, education for poorer people, weaker, weaker sections of society. I think that's where uh, a lot of focus needs to be put. And then also, I feel that India needs to think about production and manufacturing. 
and the type of skills that go into production and manufacturing, which frankly we haven't paid as much attention as we should. Uh, and I think is almost as critical as the services. Maybe before moving to the last question, I want to ask uh, one question to both of you. In the global artificial intelligence race, uh, how would you position India as a leader while ensuring ethical and responsible development? Maybe, Saeed. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, you mentioned it quite frankly. Technology can be very positive and if you use it the wrong way, it can be very negative. You know, like cloning, you could say uh, it has been controlled pretty well. And, uh, you know, gene technology the same way. So I really feel uh, we would have enough discipline just to control the negative part of it and focus on the positive. That's all I can add. I think on the on the India and AI question.